What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the best January 2014 um, ban list analysis. Now, um, this ban list um, came out today. It wasn't that big. Like it, it, it did get rid of um, Dragon Rulers, but I mean that's really all it really did. Like I look at this ban list, I'm like, well, I expected like a lot more hits. I expected some massive like freaking out of the water freaking hits and stuff and just random Konami being Konami but this list is just um it really wasn't worth the wait I guess like I waited like I was all night being like getting up at 5 a.m. seeing what the list was up. I was like nothing then it came out it's like really this is all it hit <laughs> okay so whatever for the bands if you don't know Dragon Ravine so Dragoonities are dead um yeah it hurts the consistency even though they already limited the dragons um just gotta hit that ravine I don't know whatever I only own one, so it's like, yay. And then return six cents, obviously, and then self destruct button, because there's always those guys at regionals that troll with self destruct button for the heck of it, and it's just, it, it's really stupid. I don't know. And then return to six cents, like, that's obviously. And for the limited, um, Blaster, Tempest, Title, and Redox, thank you, thank you. Like, even if the Dragon Rulers are at 2, the deck would still be good. The deck would still be consistent. Like, you really needed to live in them. You really did. They're really too powerful. The card design is just terrible. It's just plussing all day, every day. And thank God they're finally at 1. Um, Debris Dragon. Um, I, I put this on my list, too. A lot of people hated my list, but I'm like, well, I already got, like, 5 things of it right. We're actually 7 if you count the first two. So... Yeah, Debris Dragon is just way too good. It just starts up so many so many shenanigans now with um, Star Eater out and then Black Rose. It's like a one-card Black Rose and then Card Trooper, Mills 3. And it's just so many different shenanigans. And then Magician of Faith. Um, this, surprisingly, this is the only card that came back, which really sucks. A lot of people were thinking a whole bunch of other stuff like, um, what is it called? Freaking um, Royal Oppression. And a lot of people thought Goyo, were, Goyo and Trish was coming back. Like Trish was starting to go up in price on ebay like the the cheapest trish was going for around 20 on ebay because a lot of people were thinking like trish was going to come and a lot of people were thinking the mighty too like Zen, people were thinking they're going to give um wind ups more support but no it's like they, all they did was bring back the magician of faith it was like whoop de do i still have two two dt brios i still got a dt goyo and i still have a trish so i'm just waiting for the day i'm just waiting sitting back and waiting but I mean, Magician of Fate is really not going to do anything. Even if it was at two, I s just don't see anyone doing it. Like I see a lot of people just trying to uh, mess with it and then realizing it's really not that good, and just putting it back. But if um, Heavy Storm and Monster Reborn are back, now that now that would be good. But right now it's not good, and I'm glad they didn't hit Rabbit. I'm glad they didn't hit Evil Swarm. They didn't hit a lot of stuff. Like they really only hurt hit, hit Dragon Rulers and uh, what is it called? Um, they hit prophecy a little bit, but that's that's really all they hit, which is really surprising. I thought they were gonna hit Mermel some more and like a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, thought they were gonna put like Pandemic at one. I don't know. But um, along going all, along with the limiteds, we got Final Countdown. Thank you. Finally, I just I hate decks like Final Countdown, Chain Burn, and Exodia. It's just it's it's stupid. It's not fun. It's not good for the game. And it's just good. So, Final Countdown is, like, officially dead. Like, no one's going to play it at 1. Divine Wind in the Mist, Mist Valley. Um, I know there's, like, some random FTK, OTK thing out there somewhere. Um, D. Fisher is still at 1. Like, are you kidding me? D. Fisher still at 1? <laughs> uh, it's so stupid. Um, and then we got um, Spellbook of Fate and Sacred Sword. Like, I had Sacred Sword on my list. Um, Spellbook of Fate. I had Spellbook of Secrets because hitting the consistency, like, gave them a more bad opening. Because all you really need is one Spellbook of Fate, and then you can just... Um, um, stop their one. If like if you go first and you get your setup, all you need is that one fate, and then like next turn you can just recycle it with the tower. Um, so uh, I really think they should have probably banned Spellbook of Fate or like hit the consistency of the deck. But I mean, still it's a good it's a good hit on Prophecy. I'm a terrible Prophecy fan. I hate Prophecy with a passion. Um, I hate the concept of the deck. It's so boring to play and it's so boring to watch. Like it, it really is. No offense. Um, but I mean that's really it. Um, they didn't want to do a whole bunch of hits like last list. They hit so much stuff and then this list is like really gonna ba hit prophecy a little bit and then prophecy is obviously still gonna be a pretty decent deck and then dragon Ruler is like <laughs> hopefully it's dead i don't want to say it's dead yet because look at last format everyone thought it was dead and then whoop de doo so hopefully it's dead i'm pretty sure it's dead this time i mean come on okay and for the semi-limiteds like they're really only gonna do two lone fire and chaos sorcerer so 
Chaos Dragon fans like me, like, I'm definitely going to be trying out Chaos Dragons next format. Like, I'm going to be trying out Chaos Dragons, Black Wings, and Gear Guy. Like, I already had the whole Gear Guy deck made. Um, so, that's pretty awesome. Thanks to that Gear Guy and X reprint. Thank you, Konami, for reprinting that. So, I'm definitely going to be playing Gear Guy next format. I'm definitely going to be playing Chaos Dragons next format. And, obviously, like, you know, my pride and joy, Evil Swarm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Going on to the no, no longer on the lists, um, Archler Christia, um, people really only play two and three is really inconsistent. Mizuki and Plague Spreader, they pretty much already told you that with the zombie apocalypse thing, so um, I don't really see that seeing that being a big threat. TG Striker, it's about time. Tour Guide, thank you, thank you, someone knows how to listen to me. Um, tour Guide to three is awesome. Chaos Dragon players, it's really good because you got three Tour Guide and a Knight Assailant now, so your whole to Tour Guide engine's back. Um, tour guide is, I, I love the card design of Tour Guide. I love the concept. Um, so that's even pushing me more to even play um, Chaos Dragon. So look forward for, for a, look forward for a Chaos Dragon deck list. Sorry guys. And then for the other two, Constellar M7. Um, this was a really pointless hit. Um, limiting it really did nothing because people really only play one. And then Tanky, which this is the one thing on the list I totally disagree with. I just don't get. Who in God's name did this on here? Like, I know have people have their opinions why Tinky isn't that good and how it should stay at two, but I just I just think it's so broken. Like, who cares if there's a mistake? Who cares if there's MST? Like, if you go first and you get to set this up, it's like so much advantage. It's basically on a rota level. And I just think Tinky's a really good card, but I mean, whatever. I'm not just going to rage and saying Tinky's at three, so whatever. Um, that was really the, really the only thing I disagree with on the list. But other than that, like, this list is... Um, Really solid. Um, I wanted them to hit Mermels. Well, I didn't want them to hit Mermels, but I, th I was really thinking they were going to hit Mermels. A lot of people are thinking they were going to put Ophi on the one, too. Um, so, not a lot happened. Sombra, Sombre is still at three. So, basically, the format's going to be basically the same. It's just um, Dragon Millers are going to be out of the picture, Dragoonity is going to be out of the picture, and Spellbooks aren't going to be as playable as they were, but they're still gonna, definitely going to be playable. Um, but yeah. So all in all, the list is um, pretty good, um, really good actually. I don't, I don't really disagree with a lot on, on it. Um, I really do think Zed Mighty should have came back and um, Goyo should have came back, and Oppression. I really think they should have like limited emptiness and brought back Oppression. Like that would have been really nice to see. Um, but I mean, whatever. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I didn't want to make this video too long, but here it is, um, the official ban list. I will be uploading deck profiles probably this weekend and other videos so definitely stay tuned more videos coming uh, Stu Dog signing out